Well, I've been coming to Afghanistan for, for a couple of years and uh, the overall experience has been absolutely fantastic. And you know, looking at the talent of Afghanistan cricket, I was really surprised. Most of the people in India or cricket experts across the globe, they think that oh, the, uh, the talent Rashid Khan and uh, Mohammad Nabi and uh, other players coming through, but they do, do not know about the domestic structure of Afghanistan. And I think uh, uh, I was really surprised and uh, when I went outside I paid for some interviews and when I started talking about Afghanistan cricket almost everyone was surprised by the, by the way they have been able to put the structure in place. Yeah, a couple of things very interesting in here. First, uh, you know, competing with and against the top quality players and I think that's that is very different because international players participating in this one, they're playing against the likes of Hamid Hassan, Rashid Khan or Nabi, other players coming through and, and competing. Plus, if, if you recognize a player early on at the age of 14, 15, so you have a lot of time to put through the structure. Because if you do not put through the person in a structure at the age of 16, 17 or 18, then most often we find that talent gets wasted. And that's why I think Afghanistan has the advantage because of the structure, because the top quality players competing against uh, youngsters coming through. So you recognize the talent early and it will be beneficial for overall growth of the Afghanistan cricket. And also the supply chain will get stronger. So you will have you know, uh, consistent teams who will perform consistently well for a longer period of time. Well, we, we all know that IPL and BBL, uh, two of the very, very competitive and famous leagues around the world. There are many leagues going around, but what makes Afghanistan cricket or this Spagiza Cricket League different is that uh, you have Asghar Khan leading the side. So if somebody is getting inside the team at the age of 16 or 17, he's getting the opportunity to interact with Asghar Khan and other players and also the way they handle the pressure. And it, it's, it's critical for a development of a young player because they are not amazed by, by what, what he has achieved or, or anything because the behavioral aspect is very good. Uh, they are always open to listen uh, to the young players and help them out in, in you know, dealing with the insecurities, growing, growing as a player. And I think, uh, and also, also the joyful expression, the team spirit that you experience here in, in Afghanistan, in domestic cricket, in international cricket, is something that the whole world is in awe of. Uh, it's slightly different from what we experience at the international level. The pressure is very different at international level because you are watched by and observed by you know, people in Australia and England and other countries. But uh, the pressure and accuracy at international level is, is uh, slightly you know, hard to get through uh, when it comes to Spagiza Cricket League because of uh, you know, new talent coming through, budding commentators from Afghanistan. So when we, we get into this mode of contributing to the growth of the budding commentators and sharing the microphone with, with people who come from different background and culture and when we exchange the ideas, so it, it, it generates you know, something new in, in there. It brings different kind of energy. And uh, my experience of working here with, uh, with the budding commentators and also Alistair, I've been working with Alistair for three years or so, so it was very comfortable, professional outfit uh, when it comes to dealing with the situation. But you know, not knowing the players and, and then getting those inputs from, uh, from local commentators here, I think uh, it, it is different, it is challenging, but at the, at the same time it's satisfying because you get the opportunity to contribute in the growth of the upcoming commentators and, and that's what I enjoy the most here in Afghanistan. You know, when it comes to picking the teams as a favorite, as a commentator you like to be neutral, but uh, looking at the paper sheet and whatever I've seen so far, I think Bande Amir, uh, who ended up as a runner-up last time around, they have already won the championship for, for two times and they have the opportunity to win it for the third time because you have Azgar Afghan as, as a captain. The international experience that he has of, of building the team, also easing the nerve and, and selecting the right player for right position. And they got some explosive players in their side. Uh, Hamid Hassan is also playing for them. And uh, they have fast bowling options. They have spinners in there. They got the players at the top of the order. It is the most balanced side and also in the pressure situation the amount of experience that they possess, I think, Bande Amir is tournament favorite. 
Yeah, so I will be looking at, at the players who are senior pros and at the same time uh, the youngsters coming through. I heard a lot about uh, Siddiq Atal, uh, a left-hand batsman, an elegant batsman. They say the, the cock of Afghanistan cricket, a very, very promising cricketer. Uh, that's what uh, people are talking about. I spoke to the director of the Afghanistan cricket, uh, cricket board who is responsible for cricketing operations. He also suggested the same. He scored some runs against Australia, I think, uh, in the Under-19 World Cup. And uh, I saw him practicing and, and playing a practice match here. He looked so elegant and, and so so beautiful at the top of the order. So he's, he's going to be the one option. Another new Ramat because it's always important to see the development of a player. So he performed really well, admirably well in, in the previous season of the Spagiza Cricket League. So how he handles the pressure because international cricket or cricket at the highest level is about is not only about skill level it's about handling the pressure so in the mid low verse how he handles the pressure also he is not a novelty factor anymore because he's been watched by many players and so this will be a tough challenge but uh, looking at his temperament the way he bowled last season i think he is going to be a, a critical player in this league and if he performs well in this league then he will have a greater chance of uh, going to various leagues and and exhibiting his skills like rashid khan mohammad nabi and kes ahmed nu and uh, also got uh, nabin ul haq so he will be the key player in there uh, when it comes to development and also uh, we will have Karim Sadiq, I think, playing him he, uh, because he has done so much for Afghanistan cricket from emotional point of view. It, it, it will be very interesting how he fears because he likes to play some attacking shots. And also Hamid Hassan got injured, unfortunately, in 2019 World Cup. And I think this is the stage to inspire the new generation of fast bowlers in Afghanistan because it will be very important for overall well-being of Afghanistan cricket for next 10 years or so to have some quality pace bowlers who can rattle the opposition. And uh, so these, these will be the players I will be looking forward to. I think uh, balance of the side is important whether you're playing T20 or other format of the game. Uh, Bande Amir has, has, has a tremendous balance when it comes to fast bowling, spinners, batsmen in the middle over and batsmen at the top of the order. Uh, so balance is key. I think fast bowlers will be able to do something, especially in the first match because there will be a little bit of moisture early on. And, uh, and with the experience, you know, the slower deliveries, other types of deliveries and, and, and amount of experience that they have, the fast bowlers, Mirwai Ashraf and Hamid Hush. Shapur. Shapur has changed the way he has started to bowl now and with reduced pace and reduced uh, uh, run-up so uh, he, he's, he's gone for that effective mode. Uh, people with experience will thrive. Short boundaries, bowl travels because of high altitude and uh, normally good batting conditions but the experienced player will come handy. I think fast bowlers will have, have a little bit of say and spinners they are always interesting but Afghan players overall they play the spin well. Spinners will get the wickets, but fast bowler will be the impact players in this year's Spikeza Cricket League, I believe. So every time when they talk about going to Kabul, then I get excited because uh, the quality of people that you meet here, they, they welcome you with open heart, the hospitality, also the behavior of everyone is, is so nice. I think that's something that, that you know, stirs your soul uh, to indulge in conversations. They are always happy to welcome. Uh, they're, there are plenty of places that I want to go, I think. I uh, haven't been to, but uh, hopefully whenever we we'll get time. And Nuristan, I heard, heard a lot about the, the scenery and, and the mountains and other things. Kandar, for pomegranate and some dry fruits, I think. That's where they get. And uh, mountainous area, this, this Kabul. So I've been to Kabul, uh, to the market also, to the restaurant uh, in, in the last edition of this Pagiza Cricket League. I think this time around it's a very, very packed schedule. Uh, but uh, if there is a possibility, then I think uh, I would love to go out in, in the local market uh, of, uh, of Kabul. Uh, and uh, that's where I think I will be able to explore more about Kabul. Well, a lot of expectation uh, when it comes to, you know, because of the pandemic situation, the spectators will be filling in the ground and uh, it will be happy time for, for Af Afghans so searching for some kind of cricket. It happens once in, in a year, which, which, which goes live on television, where they get the opportunity to see the international stars coming in and playing here. So there is this emotional connect with the fans and some, some scintillating performances. Explosive players playing here, spinners will try to create some magic with their, their variations. Fast bowlers will try to rattle the batsmen. So if you want to see cricket 
in its purest and spirited form then do come to the Kabul International Cricket Stadium where you will get the opportunity to meet your heroes and to see them from close quarters. Some of the players who are getting older and who knows in next five years time some of them will leave the Afghanistan cricket will retire. Before that this is the chance this is the golden generation of Afghanistan cricket is in action so don't miss because there won't be many Sapur Jadran and Hamid Hashan. There will be different players of course but these are the players who laid the foundation of of Afghanistan cricket and I think spectators must come in good number and they must cheer and must absorb all the experience and take all happy memories home because in generation to come they will talk about the fast bowling revolution the fast bowlers running in and doing the damage they will talk about Hamid Hashan, Shapur Jadran and then the spinners you know, Nabi, Karim Siddiq so their contribution should be rewarded should be appreciated and I think this is the time for Afghan fans to come here and celebrate the cricket the life that that they they draw it out from cricket